My name is Shira Komu and I'm the founder of Zazi. Zazi is a women empowerment platform and we are based in Nairobi, Kenya. My name is Brenda Ogera of Ogera Law. Ogera Law is a legal firm based in Karen in Nairobi, Kenya. My name is Desi Obanda of Jurabox. Jurabox is an African social enterprise, specifically around the law. We exist to unbox the law to make the important things simple. Welcome to episode two of Ladies and the Law. Back here with your boss babes, Brenda. <laughs> And one zero. Hey. <laughs> okay. So today we are just diving in and going to talk about um, things that are deep, disturbing, absolutely important. The topic today is sex and the law. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so while sex is supposed to be a pleasurable topic. Um, when you combine it with the law, there's a lot that's um, disturbing that's related to yeah. sex. So mm -hmm. let's start by talking about the things that have been happening in Kenya mm -hmm. of, of late, the stories that we've been reading about or seeing on the news about young women who have been uh, preyed on and um, either raped and killed or mm -hmm. you know sexually assaulted. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Velvin Nongari young lady, about 24, um, only child. Um, she goes on a date um, with somebody and ends up with her spinal cord broken in three places and she goes to hospital and she doesn't make it. What emotion is that evoking in you? For me, it's just, is I mean, are people animals or, or I'm, I'm, it's, it's anger, yeah. it's anger. Yeah. Yeah. What are you feeling? Yeah, for, it's crazy that uh, these things are happening with people that we actually know and, you know, people that we actually relate to, perhaps even on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. um, a woman should never lose her life, <clears throat> you know, because of a man, um, a man's needs or sexual desires of, mm -hmm. you know, for whatever it is that that guy, you know, did to this lady. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very unfortunate, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I think I have personally moved from being emotional about it to just as DC, it's yeah. just anger, yeah. Which you know, it's how else can we respond to this? Mm -hmm. Really, and you want to ask it's yourself, just, yeah, what exactly did he do to her even. to break her back like that? Like, and even what informed his thinking into wanting to do that in yeah. the first place? Like, what did she do that made him that sick? For him to do such yeah. acts, but it's, like, it's crazy. crazy. What did she do? Yeah, mm -hmm. or, or not do? Or, <laughs> no, or what is his issue? What's because wrong I think with this person what really? is that? Yeah. Yeah. I think the problem. Yes, yeah. yeah, so the problem is himself. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. For you as a human Definitely. being to yeah. look at another Definitely. human being like they are less than. Yeah, mm -hmm. you are to, an object. You yes, know? Mm -hmm. to 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 push you to do. Um, such harm yeah. or damage yeah. to a person like that. Mm. But you know, uh, you my see, goodness. Even before the rape, you know, we you know, there, there's a lot that is going on on social media, mm. which makes you even aware of things you might not even have been aware of. So you know, you're walking in town and some random dude just grabs your hand. Yeah. Mm. Like sasa se stay or yes. whatever and, and it is. And it's supposed yes. to be fine. Yeah, and, and it's okay. And not yes. that has been normalized. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, you'll talk Unfortunately, to, yeah, yeah, you'll yeah. talk to someone, you're like actually you may not even raise it to anyone because it's normal. It's what mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. yes. to you when you go to town. Yes. Right? Yes. Or you are on the street and someone is cut calling you. Yes. Like those are such normal things. Yeah. Like True. they've been normalized already. And you see that someone trying to push that boundary. Yeah. Yes. So it I before it even gets to rape, it has started way before where yeah. someone is already pushing, you know, mm -hmm. push I, I don't see men being like Sasa bro, some random person, like yeah, to another yeah, man, true, man true. to man. Yeah. Like, or oh, you're in your car and someone yeah, is like, yeah. ah, bro, same. Like, no, mm -hmm. it doesn't happen, yeah. but it happens to, to, to girls and to women. And women. So it has been normalized. And I think it just needs to even go back to that is not okay. 
It's right? not. It's not. Yes. That what is it? not fine. Nothing is fine. Someone grabbing you, that's not fine. This is my body, you know? This is mine. Not You have no right to it. Yes, you have yeah. no agency over it. I've in, seen in any way, yes. Um, I, was also, I was listening to the minister for, I think, gender or something. In, 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 yeah. No, 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 not Kenyan, okay. in Singapore. Mm. And he was talking about a new initiative that he has, mm. which is uh, which is educating young men or young people mm. about sex and sexual rights mm -hmm. and, you know, the values of the nation mm -hmm. from when they are young. Yeah. So that um, perhaps later in life they, they understand things a bit better. Mm and they don't do the things that they do. Yeah. So he said, on one hand, we are being very tough on, 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 on crime, on this kind of crime. But on the other hand, we have an initiative to educate our men and our young boys from when it's they are younger. Important. Mm. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. very important. It's necessary agree. because mm. even um, in parenting, there are a lot of things that boys get away with because they are just oh, boys, yes. you yeah. know? Mm. And let, and let him be a boy. Be let boys. him, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, what you're doing is communicating that boys have, you know, more leeway to mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. whatever it is, really, you know. Yeah. But on this side, girls are given very strict, you know, guidelines as to how Even, they should yeah. be. Sit. Yes. 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 What you should yes. be. How to interact with yes. boys. Yes. Yes. No, it's not. Most importantly, there, there's some sex culture in Kenya, in the country. I don't know if it's, you know, um, I, I could also say it's wide world, really, mm. about guys knowing and having friends who actually have these, you know, bad tendencies, tendencies yeah. of, you know, um, assaulting, sexually assaulting young ladies or women, for that matter, mm -hmm. and not calling them out yeah. on it. Because yeah. honestly, the challenge should be on our men as well. If you if you have a friend, you're probably seated at him uh, with him at a pub. You're having your drinks, then this man just grabs a woman's uh, you know uh, rear yeah. end. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it starts from there. Call out yeah, your boy, Brenda. Call I, out your um, boy. If it doesn't bother them enough to call, I feel like. Same, 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 you know? same. Exactly. It's just going to, to exactly. and that's move from and that's, this to and that's that. how they defend themselves. Yeah. What? The mask is coming in handy. Yeah. Oh, definitions. Let's let's talk about when we talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the very beginning, mm -hmm. the very <laughs> <laughs> foundation in the beginning of how. <laughs> In the beginning, there yes, was, there was <laughs> man and woman, literally. <laughs> That's funny. Adam and Eve. <laughs> but um, when you talk about sex in relation to the law, yeah. age comes in. Mm -hmm. So yep. let's start from there. Mm -hmm. Let's start from the importance of the age of the parties yeah. that are having sex. Yeah. What does that look like in the law, Brenda? Yeah, legally speaking, um, sex is only regarded to be legal if the parties are 18 years and above of age, and of course if there's consent in it. So, so those, are, those are two under, special if things. If you're under 18, you've been having illegal sex. Yes, 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 yes highly yes. illegal. <laughs> it is not Very, illegal. <laughs> yes, not at all. Mm -hmm. So those two aspects have to be there uh, in combination. Mm -hmm. Consent has to be there and age matters. Okay. So yeah. by the time you are thinking of engaging in coitus with somebody, you have to establish the age first. And of course, the person has to be a willing mm. partner. So it is a ID. It is a ID. Very key. Very key. Very key. <laughs> original. Yeah, original oh, ID. <laughs> it's not happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if there are two 16-year-olds who, yeah. who are OK, <laughs> I feel like you need to be um, aware yeah. to give consent, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or much the word might not be mature but old enough to understand what mm -hmm. consent is mm -hmm. yes. it's not we are having sex because everyone is having sex around us mm -hmm. it's i am ready i want to have i'm okay with us having sex right mm -hmm. um so when they are 16 both of them both are 16. Of them 16 what's the, the implication that, that's but that's the we are okay we they, are okay they with should, it they, they may be okay with mm -hmm. it but, but they should not, not be engaging in it at all 
Okay. <coughs> at okay. all. So that's yeah. okay. illegal. So that's still no. Still, still no. Still no. <laughs> still no. Whether you're Romeo and Juliet, uh-uh. Uh-uh. not happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Skew it a bit. Mm-hmm. 18 and 17. 18 and 17, that's uh, statutory rape. Ooh. The lady is 18, I mean Ooh. 17, if that, yeah. Okay, Ooh. so yeah. they're in form 4 together okay. and something happened yes. and one is 18, one is 17. That is, that is sexual, um, that is rape, really. <sighs> Namaste. There's a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move beyond that to this this word that we keep saying which is consent hmm. no is no and yeah. yes. no is no yes yeah so and, what, the, and yes mm-hmm. can also turn into a no it, later and mm. no is yes no and that no yes. will override the initial the yes, yes. Have you made oh. sense? Yes. <laughs> say, say that again for me. Say that again for no me. No is no. Mm-hmm. And a yes may eventually end up to be a no. Yeah. Mm. And that no will now override the initial yes. So basically, let's let's put it into context. Okay. Yeah. Um, I go to visit my boyfriend and we start making out. Yeah. I'm in need for the making out. Mm-hmm. Yes. But you start touching me different. Dude, stop. We're not doing that, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that no, please just stop that. That's there. it. That's it. And the That's initial it. yes was really yeah. about making out. It not was really sex. about making out, making out, and not sex. Yeah. yeah. There's a way to establish mm-hmm. whether consent has been freely given. Yeah, because it needs to be freely given. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because forced consent is uh, still is still assault. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or when you you know under threat, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. or you're intimidated into. Mm-hmm. saying yes right? okay yeah those are still those are still they still don't um amount to a yes act to consent yes yeah. they do not so consent has to be freely it given. has to be freely given without Internal. any um pressure without any pressure without any coercion any and coercion. it has to be informed too yes you mm-hmm. need i need to know that yes this is what we are going to do yeah. do yeah it can be you know what Brenda was saying, we are making out, and then mm-hmm. just it turns it's into not automatically, else. Mm-hmm. you know. Somebody yeah. also said it needs to be enthusiastic. It has to be. It should be. <laughs> should really, be. really, that's what it should be yeah. about, yes. you know. Damn. Cut. Cut. So now that we've dispensed with that, I think, I mean, we've understood what consent Mm -hmm. is. Brenda, if you could take us through legally um, what, 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 what act or what bit of legislation covers sex and sexual offenses Mm -hmm. and what different ones exist, because I know for most people it would be rape rape yes. yeah and True. then do they understand what rape is, is yeah. and if it wasn't rape but it was um, something it that didn't feel right that didn't feel right exactly what was it yeah. Yeah. and is it covered by law mm-hmm. yeah yeah brenda tell us yeah, yeah. um uh, if we talk about uh, statutory provisions we have the sexual offenses act mm-hmm. um that is one legislation that covers uh, sexual offenses vastly yeah so if uh, you're not sure about what happened you can always refer to that act and just get to know where online. exactly and it's online okay. so you can just get to know okay. where exactly www.kenyalawreports.com oh yeah or kenyalaw.org yes. <laughs> oh, kenyalaw.org sorry <laughs> sorry yes sexual offenses yeah. act of 2006 14 I think 2014 I'm yeah. sorry mm-hmm. what does it say about rape what does yeah. it say about you know all these other offenses that that yeah. that, mm-hmm. that are sexual yeah of course the big question is always rape mm-hmm. yeah because uh, that is the, the 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 first thing that comes to mind when somebody thinks about you know I was somebody did wrong by me and I didn't feel right so yeah um, the rape is basically um, uh, when somebody uh, you know, uh, intentionally causes a penetration of his genitalia, his genital mm-hmm. parts, to penetrate a person. 
So that oh, then is, oh, yeah, man. that is defined as rape. Mm -hmm. And it has to be intentional, of course. So Brenda, if the person is a child, mm -hmm. would that also be considered rape? Oh no, that would be defilement. That would be defilement. That would be defilement. So that's where defilement comes So it's comes the in. same thing, but now of a child. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when it's a 25 year old man intentionally causing his uh, you know, genital area to penetrate a woman unlawfully, of mm. course without consent of yes. that woman, then that is rape. Mm -hmm. But when the same man does that to a child, then it is referred to as defilement. defilement. Yeah. Okay. So defilement basically refers to um, minors. Okay. Yeah. So that's rape. What about there was penetration, but mm -hmm. maybe it was not his genitals? Um, mm -hmm. That would uh, be referred to as sexual assault, mm -hmm. by the way, because that also happens yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yes. So somebody thinks because I I didn't um, you know penetrate you with my genital areas, it's but I grabbed you. Uh, that is that nothing, is assault, yeah. Mm. But it is actually sexual assault, and mm. you can actually sue for that, yeah. Which is gateway mm -hmm. to rape, really. Yeah. Which that's how it starts. Mm -hmm. That's how it starts. Mm. Do we need to start that bit from the beginning again? I, I think so. You're okay. Yeah. All right. I am going to do this. I'm going to listen to you. Heavy breakfast. Mm. Uh, and okay. Just going back to these offenses, okay, mm -hmm. so we've discussed rape, defilement, um, sexual a assault. Um, my imagination is that there, there, there are many categories or many different offenses so that if one thing was not done, yeah. but there's something that was actually done that was not right, it is covered within, mm -hmm. within the law. Yeah. What other offenses, um, um, you know, are there? Um, I, I would want to highlight the fact that not all these offenses relate to um, the female gender. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we need yeah. to also bring that yes. out because yes. these offenses nowadays happen to even our, our young boys, yeah. our brothers yeah. and whatnot. And it is something that needs to be talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have sodomy where a man, you know, oh. tries to engage in coitus with a, a, a fellow man, mm -hmm. um, you know, against his will or yes. a boy, yeah. which is still defilement. And that is just not right. Yeah. So those are things that we also need to highlight. Yeah. What of attempted? Mm -hmm. The the offenses <laughs> within of, the of act, attempt. Yeah. That <laughs> attempted. attempted this yeah. and that. Yeah. What's, what are the parameters for an attempted sexual offense? Mm -hmm. um, for attempted sexual offenses to be proven, it's a bit hard. Mm -hmm. And that's a challenge that even mm -hmm. um, the prosecutors are having, by the way, because I, I, I discussed this with a fellow colleague who actually practices as a prosecutor, mm -hmm. and she mentioned it, and you know, it's something that perhaps we need to look at, because mm -hmm. for you to even prove atte uh, attempted, say, attempted rape or attempted defilement, mm -hmm. then you have to either be caught in the act, yeah, and that's the only way that now you can prove yeah. that that happened, mm -hmm. or it's basically your word against these accused person's word, mm -hmm. which is a bit too hard to prove. Mm -hmm. So for defilement, they always take the, the word of the child, you know, if a child can uh, you know, stand in court and basically say, he touched me perhaps inappropriately on my yes. breasts yeah. or my bum or you know other places mm -hmm. and he probably un unleashed something of his mm -hmm. <laughs> unleashed. <laughs> he whipped it out <laughs> speaking of, speaking of yeah. which yeah. that is an offense it is an offense you know, yes. it, it is an offense, offense. it yes. can be prosecuted which, and you will be imprisoned yes. so I if you are you know, and there, and there, there, are, there are also too many videos of men just Pleasuring themselves in the middle of the street. Yes. I don't and know what why. is that about? Okay, men are gross. Some, just, men. <laughs> some men, some men, some men, please. Some men are gross. We do not not like men on this, yeah. on this, on this, on this podcast. Yeah, but that, what's what's the name of that offense? What's the um, the name of that offense? Which one? Attempted in, 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 indecent exposure. Oh, indecent exposure. Indecent yeah. exposure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So please keep yourself um, covered. Mm -hmm. Wait till you get yeah. home. Yeah. Yes. And, and yes, wait till we you yes. get. Do it kindly. behind a closed door, yeah. please. Okay. We don't want right. to see that. And it's nasty. It. So <laughs> you've mentioned something that I that is important. That um, is the next thing which we are discussing, mm -hmm. which is the challenges. Um, 
with oh, some yes. of these offenses mm-hmm. or the, the actually the challenges of finding justice in relation to mm-hmm. these um, offenses mm-hmm. yes. i think this even before we get to the challenges i think it would be good for brenda to just give us an idea of how we in the unfortunate event this happens uh, how you report this what's the right channel oh excellent yes. absolutely yeah. Yeah. absolutely so yeah. yes it has happened mm-hmm. um where do you start yeah. it's uh, very unfortunate that you know once this has happened you're feeling very dirty you're feeling you know mm-hmm. very grossed out you're feeling assaulted yeah. you still have to start with the police station Oh. That is the unfortunate bit. No, I can't so run to the hospital. You cannot no. run to the hospital, and remember, you do. You should not at any one time bathe. Yeah. Mm. No. So, because that will be that will wash away evidence, evidence. Basically, that you will definitely need to rely on uh, for the prosecution of this heinous crime against the accused. So, that's absolutely. First thing you do is basically run to the police mm-hmm. station, let them know. If you are still um, at least properly dressed, you can see, you can go like that. If you have torn clothes and whatnot, you can carry them, put them in a bag, uh, have a change of clothes, but at any time do not mm-hmm. shower. Yeah, mm-hmm. do not shower. So, you will start mm-hmm. with the police station, mm-hmm. you'll put your report down. And then um, they'll do a P3 for you. Then now you can proceed to the hospital. Good thing is at the hospital they'll take good care of you. Uh, there's a drug they'll give you to at least uh, prevent HIV mm-hmm. uh, from you. I mean, for you to uh, prevent the contraction of HIV yes. and uh, as well pregnancy. as pregnancy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. So in, in hospital they'll take good care of you. At the police station, perhaps that's another challenge that yeah, we now need to talk about. Yeah, that's what I want to bring out. Yeah, because yeah. mm-hmm. I mean we. As a woman, you've been to a police station, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. If you're so lucky, yes. Yeah. Um, you haven't been if you're lucky. Mm-hmm. But police are not the friendliest people. They're not. Number one, mm-hmm. right? They're not, and yeah. uh, especially in you know a case like this, mm-hmm. um, probably you'll go find a male policeman mm-hmm. uh, at the desk there. Who is not empathetic? Yes, who is mm-hmm. a man still? Mm-hmm. You know? Isn't there a sexual crimes unit, the, or at least there officers should be. at every mm-hmm. station there that should are be. Yeah. There, there are people who actually to handle try these to, cases. Yes, there should so be. Should you go and yeah. ask for? You know, someone from the the statement that you will write is the same statement. You know, if, first of all, you do the OB. Yes. So when you walk to police, OB? when you mm. on, the, on the occurrence book, <laughs> when you walk to the police station, basically, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, the first thing they do is record your brief statement of facts. Okay. It's never the detailed one. Mm-hmm. So that so statement um, of facts is basically is what, happened what happened to you. Yeah. Yes. What, what happened to you, okay. and that's what's re- uh, re- recorded in the OB, the obstruction, uh, the obstruction occurrence, occurrence, occurrence book. book. Occurrence. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So when that has happened, now you can be given an IO, let an investigating officer. Okay. Yeah, somebody who will now okay. take down your statement now in detail, mm-hmm. okay. and together with the prosecutors, help determine whether your case merits uh, a prosecution. Like you know, basically, if it can go to court and stand, you know, okay. exactly so on its own two legs. Do you go to the hospital right after the OB, or you have to see the investigating officer? Uh, they'll do a P3 for you, then you go to the hospital okay, immediately. The IO comes okay. much later. Okay. After now, okay. you've been taken care of at All least. Right. Yeah, right. Right. that's good to no, know. People yeah. keep hearing P3, P3. What is P3? Mm-hmm. P3 is always a state. <laughs> statement purely of mm. you know of facts in terms of injuries in terms okay. of yes that okay. you've suffered right. yeah yeah okay. so it's just notes of you know your condition okay yes yeah. all right mm-hmm. it's really i think it can be difficult though you know i mean we need to be uh, it is to challenge ourselves uh, honestly we should we should yeah. we should challenge the system because for pop, for people who've just gone through such crime such a crime yes mm. honestly if you can just go straight to hospital let a police that be someone be to come to you you know yeah. that would be awesome or mm. even yeah. though you need to go to the police station directly can we i don't know find people who are em- empathize with us you know? yes yes and like people who this happen to you you know yes, you, i mean i know it's the cop's job to ask questions mm-hmm. to understand you know mm-hmm. um what's happening but it, it can be really and, and you, you know this is the small percentage that will actually get to the police station 
Oh yeah. Because many oh. do not report. many will not. It's, do not. You know, it's this situation yeah. where um you feel shame. Mm -hmm. I don't know why because it has happened to you. You didn't do anything to warrant this. Mm -hmm. You're scared obviously because you know different cases maybe it's someone of authority, you know, it's someone I don't know who has more power than you. Yeah, or a very close family yeah, member. Or someone so close to you, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. someone, it's unbelievable yeah. that they would do that yes, to so you. You, yeah. you. You feel shame, you're scared. Uh, you know, even in the society that we live in, you know, um, you might even go tell an auntie of yours, even your mom in certain cases, and they are, and it's someone within the family, and they're like, mm-mm. Watch out to say, Bisha familia. Mm -hmm. And that happens a lot, you know? Yes, so many it, times. It really does. <laughs> so crazy. this is that small percentage that gets to the police station, mm -hmm. right? There are so many other cases that are at home and you're living with this person every day. And you, it, it affects you very mm -hmm. deeply. And I know there is no, you know, the legal part applies when you report, right? Yeah. Yes, but there are these other, when, when yes, you these other, things that actually um, limit the number of people who get to the police station. And I think that's just um, for women, for us to find ways to just, you know, mm -hmm. first create awareness that this you, you, you are wearing a short skirt that doesn't warrant you At mm. to get yeah. raped to get or assaulted. Yeah. Like what you, wear is, assaulted, yes, yeah. what you wear is, is up to is you really, it's a free world, you know. Um, you went on a date with someone, he bought you drinks, still no you didn't do Doesn't anything warrant. you know what else do you feel mm -hmm. like a young or a woman would be looking at and say um you you've you you know you said wonderful things yeah. but this this is the reason why i cannot access justice mm. i think the issue goes even before the access way back to the kind of society that we exist in it's a very um unequal society we live in a patriarchal Terribly society, patriarchal. Really, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know. So um, ideally, men have power, men have money, men have this and that. They have the right. So when this happens to you, um, even you at the back of your mind are like, hmm, like will I just but don't be embarrassed? Women have myself? money and power. No, we we do. True. We are quite empowered and we've made really good steps, steps towards yeah, that. True. But I keep saying, you know, empowerment is beyond money. It's beyond you going to an office is beyond you know you driving your own car like that that is some sort of empowerment but the mental empowerment is the thing that it's we are about. still mm -hmm. you know lagging behind on mm -hmm. you know that you have the same opportunities as this person and same rights you know same yeah. rights as this yeah. person uh that part we are still yet to make you know good moves a lot mm -hmm. of work has been done on you know financial and economical empowerment greatly very you true. know um, yeah. we still have a lot more work to to do for sure mm -hmm. but we've made good steps um but the mental empowerment i think um still is still lacking. is still lacking to to be honest for me to be like okay this can't happen to me and i'm quiet about it i'll do what i need to do so that this person ends up where they're supposed to end up mm -hmm. i think that 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 is the difficult part you know rape is not a thing that affects just us you know we, me, me, I'm someone's daughter, I'm someone's wife, mm -hmm. I'm someone's sister, mm -hmm. you know. Somebody's um, auntie. Yeah, so um, those things, a man is calling me. So if this thing happens to me, it affects all of us. It's a Everybody. societal issue. When, you know, sex is weaponized against women, you know, and I feel like at this point it is just a way of bringing down the fe the female gender because mm -hmm. the minute you get assaulted your confidence just dwindles it drops, yeah. your esteem and this just it doesn't yeah. affect that you just this box yeah your work life your family your social yeah, life you know absolutely. it really affects you completely it's true and, and even the way people look at you now it's different yes. so that's actually another um, mm. challenge another out there yeah because the stigma that there comes with this experience stigma, yeah. it's just crazy mm -hmm. people look at you different people look at you like yeah there's something wrong happened there yeah you, but know. you see the thing is we need to and normalize yeah. the fact that it's wrong mm -hmm. and so just to i guess you know finish off mm -hmm. What are we challenging people mm. to do? I would personally want to challenge our men, our brothers, mm -hmm. our fathers, our uncles, our men basically in the society to just do better. 
just do better. Do better. Call yeah. out. Report. Call out. Yeah. Report. Shame. Let them know that what you're doing. Even the way they like calling themselves, bro, bro, Even. bro. What you've done is wrong. Mm. You know, and that makes you fake. Challenge is on our men, our boys, our, our brothers yeah. to stand with us. Yeah. This is not a female issue. Mm -mm. This is a societal issue. Yeah. We can do better. We can. I True. think there's no better place to end. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, Thank as you as well. for this conversation. Yeah. Engaging conversation <laughs> yeah. as well. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful.